Welcome back. Was that awesome? Okay, here I have three decimal models. The one on the left has four whole columns shaded and then seven little pieces in the next column. So that's 47 pieces or 47 hundredths. In the middle, I have my grid separated into 10 equal size pieces and five of those are shaded. So that's the decimal of 5 tenths. On the right, I have one, two, three, four of those columns shaded and then five in the next column. So that's 45 pieces out of the hundred or 45 hundreds. Now if I want to order these from greatest to least, which one is largest? Well, the one in the middle has the most shaded. It's the decimal five tenths. You'll remember that's the same as 50 hundreds. 50 hundredths is greater than 47 hundredths and 45 hundredths. So that one is the largest. If I want to order them greatest to least, there you have it. And if you want to order least to greatest, that 45 hundredths comes first and that 5 tenths comes last. Okay, one more. Here we have four sets of decimal models. We're going to identify each and then put them in order from least to greatest. On the top left, I have a whole grid, so that's one whole, and then I have one, two, three columns and eight pieces, so that's 38 pieces, so 38 hundredths, one and 38 hundredths. The next one on the top right, I have one whole shaded, and then three of the 10 pieces, so that's one and three tenths. On the bottom left, it looks pretty similar, it's just that I have four pieces shaded, so that's one and four tenths. And then lastly, I have one whole grid, and then I have 43 little pieces, so that's one and 43 hundredths. So who's the smallest? Well, it looks like that one and three tenths has the least amount shaded. Remember that one and three tenths is the same as one and 30 hundredths. That's the smallest value. Which is the next value? Well, one and 30 hundredths is a little smaller than one and 38 hundredths. One and 38 hundredths is the next in the lineup. Then I just have one and four tenths and one and 43 hundredths. Well, one and four tenths is just one and 40 hundredths, so that one comes next, and then the largest is one and 43 hundredths. There you have it, ordering decimals.